How's it going, everyone? Pretty good day, I guess. <clears throat> Gold and silver building from the bottom. Looks like the dollar has a reverse head and shoulders off for the daily. And his right shoulder is coming down as far as possible. So I'm uh, ex expecting this to uh, pick back up. Right now it's at its low for the day on the open. So maybe a matching low, maybe come down to the support level. Uh, maybe even uh, a failed pattern. So I'll watch for that as well. Watch for previous low breaks. The right shoulder can't come past the, the head. So uh, I guess it could. Anything's possible. But watch that right shoulder come all the way in and then bust out on the upside. Is that uh, right shoulder is always that slingshot effect. So looking for this to come back into support a little bit more. <laughs> S&P. Uh, S&P makes a double top, but uh, nice nice punch. Uh, taking out the um, two-bar pattern, we have been uh, this whole time working, and now it's taken out on the upside. But I do have another double top to deal with on the close. So we might have took out this uh, two-bar pattern, but now we got this two-bar pattern making a double top. So, more resistance on the way up, obviously. Uh, don't mind this line, that's nothing. Uh, it's gotta take out that top or we're gonna be dealing with the double top the whole time and that's bearish, so it's gotta take out that top in a timely fashion. <clears throat> VIX. Looks like VIX is making a, a reverse head and shoulders off that bottom. Over the 8 into the 13, inverted hammer there. Back into support, into the 13, another inverted hammer there. Not perfect hammers, but it's got that same kind of style. Boom. That's a nice little inverted hammer there. Into the 13, back into support. Into the 13, back into support. Closing here, opening down, opening up. Coming back into the 13 one more time. So it's building. VIX is building off that bottom. USD yen. Daily chart shows a uh, top there, busting over the 34. It needs to come back in. Um, sometimes they don't come all the way back in, and those are the bullish ones. And this one looks like it's bullish, but it still has resistance. We're still closing underneath that 8. We need to be above the 8, close above the 8. Uh, so that just means bearish retracement back into the eight, let it fall back in. Look for previous low breaks, look for previous high breaks. That's a nice bullish retracement either way. Wherever support lies, watch that bounce, watch the previous high break. Bam, flat top break coming. Uh, Dow Jones. I don't know why these are so bullish, but I guess so. There's got to be some hyperinflation out there. Once hyperinflation starts, the bankers cannot control it. So they've been managing uh, inflation for how many years? And now we have interest rates at zero. And um, the reason why they're at zero is because we're holding a big national debt that we can't pay interest on. So what's going to give? I think paper money is getting a lot, uh, a lot cheaper out there. Less and less popular. It's not worth much. It's not, it's not worth the paper it's written on. So I guess that's what's happening here. Uh, we didn't take out the two bar pattern yet. We still have uh, lower highs. Uh, we got a, a double top there. Not perfect. Still lower high. Came into support and bounced. So still below on the Dow, below the eight, but um, this thing looks bullish. I mean, gapped into resistance. Now we got this little consolidation phase uh, right around uh, resistance. And it looks like it's just gonna push through. Still working, gotta take out this two bar pattern over here. That's the uh, reversal. You gotta take out that reversal on the upside and everything will be peachy, I guess. 
NASDAQ. <laughs> Taking another high today. <laughs> it's, it's absolutely stupid. Um, watch up below when this turns, man. That's all I can say. Above uh, 5,700. Closing on its highs again. Nice. Um, he'd be the one chasing that one. <laughs> uh, never chase them. If they're already running and you're not on it, don't chase it because you'll get caught in that wind. It'll come blowing back the other way. Looks like crude is uh, hitting resistance back into support one more time. Uh, broke through support, came through back into uh, resistance all the way to the 34, and it's holding its own. Um, still bullish on this for the week. I think the week was the bullish part of it. Two bar pattern over support. Got to get above that 13, watch or the 34, watch it get above there and hit the other side of the the uh, pattern there and come back into support, see if it'll gather its legs and try again. So real quick, back into resistance, back into support, and then try again. Uh, but we do have a whipsaw coming across that support line. So we'll see how bullish it is. I know a lot of economic, uh, financial people are saying this is way bearish, but on the long term, I think we had that reverse head and shoulders, and that right shoulder could just swing way back and fool everybody. So watch that right shoulder as if it would come back way far back. It did swing. Pretty far below support, and now it's popping back through. That's why I'm bullish on it. It's whipsawing back through resistance, gaining support as it goes. A little slingshot on that right shoulder, boom. Mm -hmm. So I'm still bullish on it, but uh, how bullish? I don't know. We got to break that top pattern where it fell over uh, from. So got a lot of work to do on crude. Nikai. Is on live. I can't tell. Hang on a second. It's a retarded little system going on here. Let us see. There we go. Yeah, we're live. Sorry about my face coming up, but uh, that's just the internet connection. So save your complaints for somebody else. Uh, this is as good as it's going to get right now. Yeah, I apologize. I don't have good internet. Maybe I should upgrade with all the, the money I'm making. Um, boo, 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 boo. All right, well, sorry about that. Uh, Nikai, uh, coming into a top. I got a double top working now. Came into resistance once, came into support once, came back into resistance once. So let's watch that come back into support as uh, we got a double top working up or watch come back into support. Use the gaps as your support lines as well. Previous high uh, pattern here. That was a nice little breakout from that little pattern. And I remember crossing over the 34. It didn't come all the way back into the 34, and it consolidated above. Had a previous high break and shot the moon. So watch for it to come back into support as that gap is at previous highs. You know, what's going to win? What has better support, those previous highs or the gap? We'll see. Let's see. Let's see if the previous high gap, uh, previous highs will have more support than that gap. Top of the gap has support, and we got support at the bottom of the gap. So let it fill the gap, maybe, pop back through. But I'm hoping that uh, previous highs will hold. That's the whole point of getting above previous highs is so you can come back into previous highs for support, bounce, gather your legs, and try again. Uh, yeah. 
broken outside of that little pattern really tight in there remember bam 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 bam, bam pop that's a nice move today look for that to be a little bit more bullish for the rest of the week i think tnx the 10 year coming back into support no problem with that is it going to hold that is the question look at this double top broke down came through watch it fall over Watch that, uh, yeah. Look at this as a, a double top working, came through uh, support, back through resistance, came back into support so far. I'm just guessing that momentum is just gonna fall over on this and this, this whole thing crossing down back in is the bearish retracement on a longer term. Uh, Shanghai Composite. Um, looks like we came into support. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Let's see where that line is. Looks like we came into previous lows and held today. This previous low over here, we got support building. There's there's the uh, bigger clue there. Crossing over the eight into the 13, back into support. So support's holding that eight, support can fall over. Support doesn't have to hold, that's the beauty of buying into support. If it doesn't hold, you know you made a mistake. I got support on these previous lows. I got support here and I got some final support here until it kind of just falls into nothing. But I will say that I think this this is bullish as it came back into support. One more time. We are working with a double top though. Watch that double top. Nice hammer on the weekly last week's close. So look for the uh, hammer on the upside, confirming the hammer, using that hammer as support. But right now it uh, came back in today. Closing at support, the weekly chart. Hmm. It's the A, it's a classic A, B bottom over the A into the eight. So watch this to build. This can come back a little bit more. Watch that slingshot effect back into 13, back into support, try again. Bam, bam, bam. Back and forth, back and forth between the lines. Support has to hold, that bottom is not gonna hold. <laughs> Look at that inverted hammer. Damn, kid. Here's today's action over the eight, coming back into the eight. Look at the today's action. Do not neglect the uh, inverted cameras over support. They don't want to be missed. Love the inverted hammer over support. It's that pop, come back in, and then continue. And gold's cut over the 13 today. Came into the 13 yesterday. I say today as tomorrow because the futures market has opened for the next day. We're up 11. So two good days in a row. Two good days in a row. And it's on its highs right now. Coming into previous lows, see the two lows over here? We're gonna hit that. We already hit it once. We're gonna hit it twice, maybe gather our legs into the 13 one more time and then pop. Also, this is a V bottom. So watch for any kind of thrust and then come back into support for an opposing point so that we can start that trend. Right now, all we have is a V bottom. Pretty nice bottom at that. Does it, uh, you look at these controlled candles all the way down, forever, forever, forever controlling. Now look at the control going back up. Doesn't that just look 
One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, step, 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 step. Someone's controlling this big time. That's what I can see. There's, these candles are too perfect. There's no range. There's hardly any wick space. It's just one, two, one, two, one, two, no step, 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 step. Watch the previous high break of yesterday's high. A 16.82, and then we'll shoot the moon into the 34. If, if we're lucky, we'll get over the 34 back into support using the 34. But I don't think it's ready for that yet. We could, though. Silver, uh, it can get very volatile, and it can happen at any moment. 1671. It's going, it's going, it's going, it's going to pop. Let's go to copper. Little bottom forming on that daily chart. Looks like we've made a higher high off that bottom came coming back into support now. Support's got a hold. Nice bottom, came into the eight, came back in, pop, came back in. Now we're continuing on. Let's get above previous highs, stair, step it on up. I got a double top over here. Take that out first. Take out that uh, top there. Take out that top there. We'll shoot into the thir 34, back into support. Try again. Kind of like that. Copper's got to run with us this time. Copper's got to run with us. Waiting for that copper to run with gold and silver. We got lots of previous low resistance over here where that 34 is. So watch it pop into the 34, back into support. It's got to keep making higher highs or we're going to just keep making a downward action. We need to start making that upward action. I do have the AV bottom. Support's got a hold or it's going to fall apart one more time for another leg. And honestly, that's a bearish flag into resistance. So I don't know what's going to happen. It doesn't uh, feel right. But uh, anything can happen. Volume can cure all ails, illnesses, and um, we just need a break from the norm. We're going to be the heroes when uh, the miners start running. We'll have to do a monthly close and see how good we fared last month on the bounce. I don't know about copper. Copper's got to hold that support. It's going to take another leg down. And there's too much room here in between previous low breakdowns into previous highs. See, there's a, like a little no man's land there. So I don't want to get in that no man's land because that'll take forever to get back out. We want to stay and keep our momentum. And just to, um, just too many, too many factors. What I'm saying is we got to hold 50% of the move. I don't know if that's right. Hang on, where those colors came from? I don't know what those colors are all about. It's all fancy. Where'd it go? Uh, where the hell did it go? Oh, I guess I'm on it. Never mind, I'm an idiot. Boom, boom. Uh, let's get a better view. Taking the break. I'm going to take that break out. Oh my God, what the hell is that now? What the hell? Oh, I'm totally lost here. I'm going to take this break. I'm going to take the high. 
what I'm saying is the retracement has to hold 50% into support. If support doesn't hold and 50% breaks down, momentum is lost on the long-term trend and it has to try again. So by holding the previous breakout 50% back in, you're still got momentum. So that's why I'm saying copper has to turn, top, copper has to do something or it's gonna fall back into that no man's land in between breaks and it could come all the way back into the break it can hold at 61 um so any who's long story short it's got to hold support stupid things. let's get out of there Copper on a weekly, though, it's the uh, reverse head and shoulders. What the hell is that? I've never seen that before. Reverse head and shoulders pattern. Um, I'm hoping that right shoulder doesn't come into no man's land. So there we go. Hmm. I surely hope that copper runs with this on this bottom. BTC. Did we reach the measured move yet? Let's see what's going on on Bitcoin. If anyone's interested, uh, let me know because <laughs> these altcoins are very fun to trade. I'm not talking about Bitcoin. I'm talking about um, the altcoins, all of them that are in these uh, cryptocurrency exchanges. There's dozens of them. And they're really fun to trade because they act real, like in a real market. Previous breaks mean something. There's no jerk on the bid with a billion bucks uh, buying the breakout, holding prices down. So it looks like Bitcoin is just coming into support. It's back and forth, back and forth. It might need to do a back and forth, back into support, wherever that is. I got previous highs over here. I got the previous high already bouncing off of this high. Boom, 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 boom. Could just turn into a nice little high level pin it. Um, but I think it's too, too soon to tell. Too soon. Got a bunch of whips. There's a whip saw outside the pattern. It whip saw outside the pattern. Back in. So support's got to hold. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Boom. Uh, my measured move is still intact. Uh, it should reach 21, but I'm thinking 2,000 is going to be the emotional spot on the chart where everyone's like, time to bail. But I think pretty close to, uh, closer to 2,100 is the measured move. Gold silver ratio still coming down. Nice little bearish retracement there. The bearish retracement got rejected. So look for that to come down a little bit. It was as high as 75, 70. So it's not down too far. GDX looks like the four hour there. Let's change it to the daily. Nice punch. That's what you're looking for. Punch over that uh, 34. With some definite volume for the past one, two, three, four days in a row. Punching over the 34. That's what you like to see. A little gusto through resistance. And those 34s, that, that was, a, looks like a gap resistance there. I need to get over these previous highs just to build and build and build and keep going. And ultimately, there's a downward trend line off of this push here. Let's get over that mark for the long-term charts. Nice. You can see all the averages right there, the 13, the 34, and the 8. And it's closing on its highs. Look for this to come into resistance, maybe punch through resistance. Uh, depending on the volume, 
But uh, watch it come into resistance, back into support, try again. This could go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth for months. So be prepared for that as well. Just get used to selling into resistance. I got previous low resistance over here, which probably means a lot more than that downward trend line. By incorporating that downward trend. Mm, nope, does not work? Maybe let's make a channel out of it. Well, it looks bullish off that bottom bounce. Good job, good job, good job. Nice bounce off the bottom there. Nugget. Two bar patterns carry over. Watch those downward trend lines pop over into resistance. The 34's got those previous lows. It's right there. So again, the lines are just uh, visual aids. Always, you don't need the lines. Just use previous lows for your resistance. You need to get through these resistance too. But to coming off that bottom, I think the first line of resistance will bust through. Might take a little work, but I think we'll see that 34 here soon. Nice bottoms. Plus, I understand that the demand for these miners are um, tremendous, and um, they're trying to uh, they're trying to uh, accommodate uh, all the demand. And um, some someone was justifying the dilution of it as uh, good stuff, but. Um, <clears throat> they claim they're just uh, trying to fill all the demand. So therefore, I guess it was okay to dilute it. Um, it doesn't make sense, but um, they're having a hard time filling all the demand for these uh, miners. So here it comes, okay? It's coming. Whatever's coming is going to come with a gusto. And um, let me just go over the weekly, ch the monthly chart real quick just to make sure we're halfway in the month. And gold, all right. Gold hit that high. Hit a lower high, crunched down, back into resistance, got rejected, double bottom here, 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 got Broke it down, back in. There's our three bar pattern, busted over, back forth, back forth. Nice consolidation over the 34, back into the 34, and we've been climbing, climbing, climbing. Now we came back into the 34 one more time to gather our legs and then punch. <clears throat> Longer term chart is the reverse head and shoulders. Boom, 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 boom. That was the right shoulder that completed. This is going to be bullish. Break that neckline. Break that shoulder. Just snap that chicken's neck. <laughs> it's going to be bullish. Everyone's like, oh, where do you think it's going to go? Previous lows. It's always previous lows. It's like clockwork, everybody. There's no mystery here. That's just resistance. It could break through, take out that top. But first things first, hits resistance, come back into support, then bam, pop goes the weasel. That's a reverse head and shoulders off the bottom on the monthly chart. I would say take out that uh, 1367 off this high here. Flat top break is my launching pad. Flat top break, everybody. That's where the magic happens. That's the launching pad. Boom, flat top break. Let's do it. We're all going to be heroes trading these things. No one's going to see it coming. Everyone's like, buy some Apple. Google's doing so well. <laughs> yeah, right. So there's the monthly charts on gold. Monthly chart on silver. 
all the 30 uh, into the 34 on silver back into support back in back in silver doesn't look as good as gold but we'll have a whipsaw there's my face uh, something happened my internet hang on there she is Hmm, there's a delay too. I'll try to figure it out somehow. Anywho, support's got a hold on silver. Where are we at the daily? Nice bottom. Okay, weekly. Well, bottom needs to work a lot more. Get above 50% of the previous candle into resistance. Once we get over resistance, 1860. Can't believe it came down this far. 1850 is a break. So 16 to 18. Let's get to 17. Got an hour and a half to go. Uh, anyway, silver looks good. It's just a lot more work to do. Um, I'm thinking that we're going to whipsaw off of this oppo first opposing point. They just drug it through the mud. So th by the end of the month, we need to get above that res uh, resistance which we're right there. And again, left, right, and then we're just taking another dip. Left, right. Oops. Where's it gonna go? Previous lows. We gotta get these two previous lows first. That's that 1850. 1850 is like a huge marker on the chart. People say, oh, 1850 this, 1850 that. Well, you know, from the beginning of the first move, 1850 was the mark. So 1850 is still the mark. And you can see that on the previous breakout. There's just a little range here. But 1850 on the upside, boom. Gotta get above that 1850, back into resistance. So 1850 should, on a monthly chart, should see 26, but that's not the case if you take the uh, earlier charts uh, 1850, 26 again. You got previous high breaks at 20. Daily, 1850. See the previous low, previous high scenario? That's the 1850 mark. It's a big balance point for the whole chart on silver. So anyhow, back to the monthly chart. It's bullish because it's a reversal back into resistance, back into support, and just gathering its legs one more time. Over the 34 on a monthly chart. We're above on the weekly, I believe. Oh, we fell below it. Hmm. Keep it running, keep it running. Let's keep it going here. Uh, JDST, that came down today. Let's see what happened. Yes, it came down. Now that's a bullish retracement I always talk about, but support so far is not holding. I got some gap support in here. I got a previous low over here at 69.31. I got a gap support at 67. Previous breaks at... 60, 61, 62. So if that support doesn't hold, watch out. But, um, when this comes down and it's ready to uh, bend over and then it turns, gold and silver will be doing a retracement to gather its legs. So let's watch for that. Steel, ah, just barely getting over that eight through time. We've got to close above the eight on 
steel support has to hold but watch for this to build and maybe even pop into resistance ag daily chart nice moves i've got the bullish harami right there at the bottom back in posing point right there that was your q that was your support hold the next day it capped open that's where you should have just ran with it because you have a previous high break high or low close once it took that previous high and it, it it opened above that bam closing on its highs too it's got the runs um you are a Got a reversal there. Look for uh, this right shoulder to come in on URA. It's a little overextended for that shoulder. It's an, a gap meeting line there, so it looks like it hit resistance a couple times. Look for it to come into support for that right shoulder confirmation, then we'll let it whip. Crack the whip on that. Another one, the shoulder's got to come in, gather its legs, try again. U R R E, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. It's building. Look at the higher lows. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Bam! Look for a nice pop across that 34 here soon. Take previous high breaks. Back previous lows. Right now it's breaking into previous lows. Got rejected. So look at look. It's gathering its legs. Previous low breaks 175. Take that range all the way up. I've been home on a daily. Looks like it's coming into a bottom. Apple. Let me look at Apple. Oh, that was yesterday's Apple I was thinking about. Let's buy some Apple, guys. Okay. I got a bearish Harami. The, the wicks are outside, though, so it's not perfect. Let's see how we closed. Oh. See the crossover? Crossover back into resistance. It's closing on its highs, but it closed at resistance. Popped over, came back through. Caught in resistance. Look for it to come back into support, maybe. There's gap. Those gaps. Let's keep a good eye on that. And the hour close on Google. <laughs> That's a reverse head and shoulders there. Let's put a flat top break, I guess. This previous high set the course. That so that's the uh, resistance. Came over resistance. Came over resistance. Came back into support held above res resistance, has support now. The close above that uh, previous high is now support. Now it tried to go in and it closed a nice hammer over support that can turn into a falling star by confirmation on the downside. Or excuse me, hanging man. But it came over the resistance, came into support and bounced. That's a nice hammer over support on Google. Look for previous high breaks, I guess. It's a never ending story. Uh, let's just look at NAK. That was one of my favorite runners last uh, time that miners ran, so I have to keep an eye on this. Uh, looks like the hour chart got rejected there, came all the way back in, hit the eight back into the eight hammer over the eight holding 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 closing above the eight at the end of the day good 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 so it busted over the eight and consolidated over the eight look for previous high breaks looks like 186 on up it'll pop that 13 into previous lows watch for resistance at two easy deasy volume watch for volume I always watch for volume all right, well, that's it. I didn't see my face pop up too much, so 
I apologize for the bad internet connection, but what can you say? I think everybody around the country is having bad internet connection lately. So I'll see you. Thanks for watching. And um, that's it. I'll see you.